Welcome back, family. Thank you for being a part of Newman Gothwood International Ministries. My name is Minister Glyn A.J. Ehoje. For many of you that are new on the channel, and thank you for um, being a part of the ministry. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And to all of our returning subscribers and every member of this ministry, thank you so much for being um, here with myself tonight. I have a word for you all, and this word speaks of um, your promised land, um, delay with regards to marriage, and restoration of your marriage, and um, everything else that you are believing and trusting the Lord for. This word is a very, very important word, and I just want you all to listen and just be really, really attentive to what the Lord is saying right now, and... Um, yeah, just allow the Lord to do what he needs to do in your life in this season, especially in this year, 2021. It's a very, very sensitive moment and it's a very, very sensitive time as well. Amen. Praise God. So I'm going to say, say, say a short prayer. I'm going to say a short prayer and just to open up and to allow the Holy Spirit to have his way. Hallelujah. Precious Holy Spirit, thank you. We worship you. We honor you. We magnify your holy name. Right now, Holy Spirit, as we begin to um, receive from you the word that you have, Lord, I pray that you will minister to your people. Speak through me. I yield myself to you. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let every barrier and everything that wants to resist this word from going forth be broken in Jesus' name. And I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your people. And I, I, and I pray that every... Um, eye will be open and every ear will be open to see and to hear what it is that you are saying that you are speaking today from the father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth have your way O oh lord and i pray that every listener will be encouraged and uplifted through this word lord and ready O oh lord in jesus christ name we pray to call the glory lord hallelujah praise god i'm going to read from the book of psalms chapter 27 verse 14 and this is from the the passion translation praise god Here's what I've learned through it all. Don't give up. Don't be impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Be brave and courageous and never lose hope. I'm going to read that one more time. Here is what I've learned through it all. Don't give up. Don't be impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Be brave and courageous and never lose hope hope never lose hope keep on waiting on the lord you all keep on waiting on the lord for he will never disappoint you keep waiting on the lord that's what god's word is saying to you right now it says keep on waiting for he will never disappoint you in the promised land i want to speak about the promised land that god is, is um preparing you all for in the promised land, God wants to give to many of you. There are giants in that land. And when I say giants, I mean people or persons the enemy may want to use in stopping you, opposing you, or hindering you from doing what the Lord has called you to do in that particular zone or area or department. Let's read Numbers 13 and 14. So in Numbers chapter 13 verse 30, it says, then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, we should go up and take possession of the land. For we can certainly do it. Let's have a look at Numbers 14 verse 7 to 9. The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord Yahweh is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land. A land flowing with milk and honey and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord. And do not be afraid of the people of the land because we will swallow them up. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. Numbers 14, 24 says, But because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land he went to, and his descendants will inherit it. Praise God. You see, while we're waiting upon the Lord to take us into the promised land that he has promised to us, there are some key things that need to be in place. Continue to follow the Lord on what he's telling you to do with regards to that land that he wants you to possess. Follow the Lord on what he's saying for you to do. If you recall, I released a video at the beginning of the year 
or um, on the last day of um, 2020, I said, the Lord is saying it's time to, pos- to, to, to um, possess the promise. It's time to possess the promise. And in 2021, multitudes of believers are going to possess the promise and get into the promised land that God has already prepared. That's what I received in my spirit. Praise God. Do not rebel against the Lord. God is going to give you the land that is flowing with milk and honey. He will give it to you. Do not rebel against him and do not resist his work. And do not be afraid also. Because he will enable you to conquer and overcome whoever it is that wants to stop you or oppose you from doing what God has called you to do in a specific area, city or country. Hallelujah. You will inherit the land and the place, the department that God is giving to you if you just follow him. Amen. God has already revealed this to many of you, including the strategies he will be um, unveiling to you requiring the acquisition of that land. You know what the land, you know what the Lord has promised you. I'm speaking regarding physical lands now, a city or a territory, but for others, it can be something else God has promised to give to you. That also can be your promised land or your promise. Amen. The battle is already won. You just need to position yourself in faith and trust solely in God. Also, be brave, very brave and very courageous. As the scripture said in Psalm 27 verse 14, it says, be brave and very courageous. It takes courage to go into taking over or taking authority or dominion or possessing what God is telling you to. Because sometimes you see, God can say he wants to give you something when, when he reveals what he wants to give to you. It can be, you know, quite intimidating sometimes. It can be something that just makes you feel like, but this is too big. I'm not sure I can handle this. But the Lord is saying to you, be brave and very courageous so that you can face what you need to and realize that God is with you. He will never leave you. At every step along the way, at every step along the way, as you go on, God will never leave you. He will hold your hand and guide you through where, where you need to get to. All the way, he will lead you there. And when you get there, he's still not leaving you. He'll be there with you. He goes before us. He goes with us. Hallelujah. Some of you that are awaiting a godly marriage and restoration are about to also throw in the towel. I know that from my own experience and I know that also through um, the, through the, through the multitudes of um, counseling sessions that I've had, Many people are at the point of giving up. You've been standing for so long and you, and you just feel worn out and tired. I see that in the comment section sometimes. And we pray for you, myself and husband. We pray for you all. We always pray for you all for strength, for a revival in your spirit. Don't quit. Hallelujah. You have waited quite a long time. You have interceded, you've been praying, but your spouse has not come home or shown any interest in the things of God. For many of you, the Lord wants you to keep holding on, especially when you know that he has spoken that word concerning your marriage. Keep holding on. For all the time, energy, finance, whatsoever you may have lost, even in your health, God is restoring you times seven. You must understand that God is restoring you as well. What God needs you to do now as you continue to wait is to be entwined as one with him. It is on this foundation you lay that your marriage becomes a success when you are with your spouse, your godly spouse. Because being entwined with the Lord as you spend time with him is what brings your healing and wholeness. This is key. Many of you, the reason you still see delay in your reunion is simply because God is still working on you. The scripture says you cannot pour new wine into old wine skin. What happens if we do? It busts. It is not fresh. It cannot you know, um, stay and taste the way that it should. The new wine must be poured into new wine skin. That's what the, the, the word of God says. 
so that it lasts longer and stays fresher. This is the same thing with you and your spouse. If God doesn't take the time to cleanse you, refine you, and heal you, the both of you, you cannot truly enjoy or experience the new, wonderful, and supernatural gift of marriage that he is releasing to you. Many of you are almost dead. You just have a little bit, something inside of you. It could be a bad habit, anything that God just wants you to focus on that and tackle. It could be a bad habit or an addiction that you think you've overcome. But you haven't. But the Lord is patient. And he's there to heal you. He's there to help you. All you need to do is just continue to be um, in um, in oneness with him. And to be entwined with him. You focus on his word. So that you will continually be changed. And be um, conformed into his image. His very image. The more you look into the word of God. The more you are transformed. If you have a promise from the Lord regarding restoration of your marriage, do not throw it away. For those that are waiting restoration, if you have that promise, don't throw it away. If the Lord has not spoken to you about restoration on that marriage, maybe you need to sit with the Lord and pray, pray, pray listening silently to what he's saying. However, for those who have received the promise and yet to see it manifest and become flesh, Stay, hold on, and keep pressing. Understand that the enemy does not want these kingdom marriages, hence the reason for the intense opposition. God is bringing you through. God is bringing you through in Jesus Christ's name. God is a God of restoration and he hates separation. He needs you to be patient. Patience is key. Keep fighting, beloved. I pray for those believing for uh, God to restore their marriages. Your prodigal spouse, I pray they will return home in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Your prodigal spouse, I pray they will return home in the name of Jesus Christ. For those awaiting a godly spouse and never been married, listen to the other videos on this channel regularly. They will stir up your faith. Do not quit on God. His plans for you are too good to throw away. Do what Psalm 27 verse 14 says. Be entwined as one with the Lord and never lose hope. The enemy never takes a break in fighting. He never takes a break in fighting you for what belongs to you. So you too should never take a break. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I pray that this word has been a blessing to all of you that have listened to this. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray against every opposition, every barrier, every hindrance, and every obstacle of the enemy to resisting you from going into possessing your promised land or receiving the blessing and the gift of healing, of restoration, of a godly marriage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy over every single one of you that are awaiting God for restoration of your marriage because he has placed that mantle upon my life. To release the word of restoration. According to Amos 9 verse 13 to 15. I decree and declare. Whatsoever is broken in your life is mended today in the name of Jesus Christ. Now as you continue to be entwined as one with the Lord. God will make all that is dead in your life that needs to be raised back. Come back to life in Jesus name. I pray that you will receive a Lazarus miracle in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Regardless of how long your marriage has been dead for, I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your marriage is coming back to life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every attempt of the enemy to deny you, to resist you, to prevent you from receiving a glorious marriage, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your marriage is exhumed in Jesus name. You and your husband, you are exhumed in Jesus' name. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy over you that your marriage is restored. As long as you continue to walk with God and allow him to walk on you and your spouse, your marriage is restored today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And for every single one of you trusting God for a godly spouse, the Lord will bless you with the desires of your heart. Delight in him in Jesus' name. Many of you will get married this year in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you will begin to work with your partners, with your spouse to bring glory to God. 
I pray for those of you that are sick in your body, in your blood, your bone. I pray against that negative report from the doctor in the name of Jesus Christ. Any of you that has got that virus in Jesus' name, I prophesy healing over you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is the will of God for you to be healed. You all are blessed. May the Lord prosper you in your soul and bless you and provide for you and protect you and heal you and make you whole. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that is God's word for you all today. I will see you all in the next uh, session in the video that I have to release tomorrow. God bless you all. For anyone that hasn't given their life to Jesus, please give your life to Jesus. God loves you so much. And he doesn't want you to waste away. Now is the end. The time where our Savior is coming back. Hallelujah. Give your life to Jesus and he will give you his life, his holy and pure life. Hallelujah. Say this prayer with me. Oh Lord, my God, I come to you today. I believe that Jesus died for me and that he was raised up on the third day. I confess you as Lord and Savior. I receive your forgiveness, your love, and your blessings. And I receive your Holy Spirit in my life. I declare I am saved in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you all. And I pray that the Lord will continue to keep you all to prosper you to guide you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please subscribe if you haven't already. For all of you that have been given into the ministry, paying your titans into the ministry, paying uh, um, offerings, um, sowing your seeds, the Lord prosper you. The Lord bless you all. M may the Lord um, cause Psalm 126 verse 1 to 6 to manifest mightily in your lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you have sown into this ministry. You will become that open gate where the multitudes of the um, wealth of the nations will come through to you in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you all and speak to you all very soon.